Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you about how I perfected my contour. It's gonna be my highlighting and contouring routine. If you guys don't know, I was sick for like two weeks. I was bedridden, it was horrible. I got really bored and I ended up deciding to take a photo of myself, a very unflattering photo of myself in horrible lighting. I just kind of started like playing around with like how I would contour my face. I feel like a lot of people, you see these things on the internet, like how to contour a heart shaped face or a square shaped face or a rectangle face or a round face, whatever. Whatever. It can be a good guide, but it's important to adjust your contour for your specific face. Like nobody has the exact same face, you know? Taking a picture of my face kind of allowed me to assess what I wanted to emphasize and kind of like fade into the darkness. <laughs> Basically what I ended up doing was taking that photo and putting it in Facetune and then just kind of like putting down where I would highlight and contour. It just has made such a difference. So I would recommend doing what I did. Just take like a gross selfie. Taking a picture of yourself kind of allows you to like, it flattens everything out and it can be a lot easier to sort of like map out the things that you want to push back or bring forward or whatever. All right, so I'm gonna get into the tutorial. I'm gonna show you how I contour and highlight and I'm going to explain why I do certain things. But I just wanted to pop that in and kind of like go over the background a little bit before. So we're gonna do it now. Oh, also I did film this makeup look. <laughs> All right, so I already have my foundation on. I used the Benefit Hello Happy foundation in number two and brows, obviously I used the Signature Brow in Light Medium by Kat Von D. So typically when I do this, I go in with my concealer first and I hit all of those areas because I tend to go a little bit concealer crazy. I've been trying to do like less coverage, but just in terms of like highlighting, hike? like highlighting, um, I tend to go a little bit overboard. So I like to do that first so that I can kind of like even things out with my contour afterwards. I'm going to lay them all down at the same time just to kind of show you how I map it out, but just know that that's not how I typically do it. Um, I'm gonna be laying down my contour first. I'm gonna be using the NYX Wonder Stick. This is in the shade Universal. This is a little bit warmer than I would typically use, but I wanted to use a stick so that I can show you like how I draw it out. The color might not be perfect. This is gonna be a lot better if you have slightly deeper skin, like more medium skin. I'm very fair right now, so it's just a little bit warm, but as far as bronzing, this is a good color. So what I like to do, and I showed you in the image, is I like to bronze my forehead, but I don't wanna make it look too, too small because I wanna create like a little bit more balance. I kind of like having like a light bulb head, basically. I have a big forehead, so I kind of like, I don't know, I kind of shade it a little bit, but I don't make it look too, too small because I think it's more flattering for my face shape. So basically what I'm gonna do is kind of just trace this along my hairline. Is that crazy? I also like to add like a little bit of definition like right around the temple. Also just really quickly, you may hear the uh, distant hum of an air conditioner and or that may be a bird chirping. It's very hot out, so people, my neighbors are definitely running their ACs, so I'm sorry if there's like background noise. Anyway, so forehead, right? Then what I like to do is kind of bring it right down there. And then you can kind of see the way my uh, my cheekbone is shaped. I don't have, and I think I've talked about this before, I don't have those like big round, like Chrissy Teigen cheeks. I have, um, my cheekbones kind of like do that a little bit. It's that kind of shape. So I like to kind of like just carve that shape out. Oh, I got it on my ear. And I like to make my cheeks look a little bit larger. So uh, don't worry about bringing your contour down like way too low. Cause I actually like this part of my face to look a lot smaller. So I like to bring it down a little bit lower because if I bring it up too high, then it can make like the lower part of my face just look huge. And then what I like to do is shorten this part of my face. So again, I'm trying to make this area look smaller. So I kind of drag this down here and then I, <laughs> My diet has been real bad lately. Uh, so I've got a couple extra pounds on me that I'd like to get rid of immediately. So the jawline contour is a must for me. Now I don't have an extremely defined, beautiful, like Nefertiti-esque jawline to begin with. So jawline contour is, that's a definite for me. Like I always have to do it. What I like to do is, and you saw from the picture, I like to kind of like shorten this area right in here. And I don't really touch my chin because I don't have a a large chin or anything like that. I like to start here and kind of connect it up to my jawline and then I'll drag it down below my chin. So I'm kind of creating like a nice jawline right there. 
And I might go in a little bit harder than usual just so you guys can like actually see what I'm doing. All right, so now you can see like if I double chin it, <laughs> this is a mistake that I see a lot of people doing. They will trace their jaw and then they blend it out. But then like if they kind of like when they're speaking or if they kind of like look down, it's super obvious that they have this like line here. So what I like to do is kind of like bring it down here. You definitely do not need to do this much. So what that kind of does is like, if you've got a double chin going on, kind of helps get rid of it. <laughs> this is way more intense than what I usually do, but just so you guys can see. I mean, unless it's dark out and you know, see what we're doing? All right, now I'm gonna throw down my nose just because. So I like to, and nose is, it's totally optional. I like to kind of like keep this area light because it helps to lift it a little bit and do like right there. And then I don't usually use a stick for this, but bring that right up into my brow like that. I really wanna try the Smashbox contour stick. I don't know how the color is. Like this is way too warm. Obviously this is like a bronzer shade, especially for when I'm fair. Um, I really wanna try that. So if you've tried that, please let me know. Um, okay, now let's lay down our concealer. <laughs> I'm crazy. So for concealer, I'm gonna be using Born This Way by Too Faced. This is in the shade Swan. So I'm gonna start off by highlighting here. And I don't, this is a very light color. I don't wanna go like too in. So I'm gonna kind of like dot this in this area. So I like to kind of make this look a little bit more, I don't know, more prominent, not larger, but just, I love to highlight that area. I'm gonna take a little bit on the bridge of my nose. I like to highlight along the side of my nose because it makes it look a little bit more flush with my under eye and it creates the appearance of a smaller nose. So I'm gonna bring this out. I'm just gonna dab it. I'm gonna bring it out pretty far though. I'm just gonna kind of like, I don't usually apply this much, but I just want you to see how I lay it down or like the areas that I'm gonna be focusing on. So I like to really highlight that area. And then for my chin, I don't know, I kind of like mix it up. Sometimes I highlight here. I think I'm just gonna do right. Actually, no, you know what? So I usually do like that and then I'm gonna kind of do like right here. I don't know why, I just kind of, I don't know why. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. But yeah, that's basically, that's the layout. It's important to remember that less is more, definitely, when you're doing this, but this is how I lay everything out, basically. Now what I'm gonna do is go in and blend out my highlighting first and then go in and do my contour. So for my highlighter, I'm gonna use this little, it's like a little wedge sponge from Sigma. I love this so much. It's great for underneath your eyes. So I'm just gonna start blending that out. To blend out my contour, I'm going to use this guy from City Color. This is the CCB202 brush. So it's just like a kind of a densely packed, it's smaller angled brush. And I just feel like I can get the precision that I want. So I'm gonna start off with my forehead and I'm literally just going to blend this into my hairline. I'm gonna try not to take it like down too far. And I'm gonna use kind of a combination of like buffing and padding motions. It really depends on like your skin. Uh, if you need more or you need fuller coverage and you're afraid of like removing coverage or if you have like a lot of breakouts, you probably want to just do padding motions because the buffing can kind of like remove any of that coverage. I like to turn my brush like this and just really lightly blend this area. I just wanna, I, I like to go slow so that I'm not like moving this line too much or moving the product around my face too much because I already went in with my concealer. Now when I buff out my contour, if I feel like this area is way too light, I can kind of just like buff lightly over that. It also just kind of like blends those colors together. So it looks a lot more natural. The key here is always blending. Like it doesn't really matter what you're doing. As long as it's blended super well, it's gonna look intentional. So now I wanna make sure that I'm not taking this up too high or accidentally like hitting my chin. So I'm gonna use a really light hand and just blend this downward. It's still pretty intense. I'm gonna blend this out now. So I'm just taking this down my neck in the area that I really wanna shade. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna really buff out this line. And I'm gonna kind of take it up into my foundation because I don't want there to be like an intense line there. I just want it to be like a gradual gradient. It's gonna kind of like make that area go back. I'm gonna go back in with my Sigma brush. This is my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. This is what I use to apply my foundation and I'm just going to buff that edge down my neck. If there's any areas that look like not blended or I don't know, just like too dark, you can kind of like pat over them. I just do a little bit of like further blending. I'm pretty sure you guys know that I've struggled with my nose contour for pretty much ever. I feel like I'm always changing it. I'm always doing like different techniques and I'm, not, I'm pretty much never satisfied. I just, I'm not a huge fan of my nose. It's not easy to contour. So I've got this little brush for, for, from OPV Brushes. It has no number on it or it may have rubbed off. I have no idea, but it's just kind of like a flat kind of, and it's a little bit fluffy. So I'm gonna start off by buffing out this part. 
And again, just trying to keep the product like where I placed it. And if I feel like it's moving too much, I'm just gonna wipe off my brush because I don't wanna like move that product around my nose too much. Now I'm going to kind of buff this up into my brow. Usually I do this before I have brows on. Now I'm going to just pat over this. I kind of like to bring it here. It's a lot of back and forth. So we're just sort of moving the shadows inward. And then I'm gonna kind of like cut off a tip right there, which also helps to like refine the end. Now I'm gonna go in with my sponge and kind of just like buff around those edges. I don't know how that looks on camera. Cause I never do I never do my makeup in real life with all these lights. So I feel like it always looks different. All right, so the next step for me is setting underneath my eyes. Mm, sometimes I do like a little bit of baking along my nose. I might show you that like underneath my eyes and along my nose to, I don't know, just kind of like brighten up that area. That's the area that I like to be the most bright. First I set before I even like worry about any of that. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit more concealer before I do that. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the Too Faced Born this way and just pop it like right there because this is the area that I like to be really bright. <laughs> and to set, I'm gonna be, to set, I'm gonna be using the Born This Way, what is this, Ethereal Setting Powder? This is new. I'm gonna use a really small amount, especially if I'm gonna bake later on. So I try not to take this out like too far because we've already highlighted. I'm just trying to really brighten up this area along the side of my nose, just like right in here. I'm just gonna set the areas that get, really. So to bake alongside my eyes and my nose, I'm gonna use Pound Cake. This is the Easy Bake Loose Baking Powder from Huda Beauty. So I'm gonna take my sponge, dip it in the powder. It has a very intense scent, just so everybody knows. It smells like super sweet. And I'm going to drag it here. So I don't wanna take it up too far. I just like to highlight right underneath my eye and alongside my nose. So that's it, nothing like too crazy. I don't wanna take it in like way too far. I don't wanna take it out too far. I just like to highlight that area and sometimes I'll be like right there. <laughs> just cause it helps to like lift my nose a little more. Let's just try it. So this is the e.l.f. golden something. e.l.f. golden bronzer glow powder. I have no idea what this is called. So I'm just gonna mix all these colors together and I'm actually gonna be using, this is actually a really nice brush. This is the e.l.f. angled, it's a blush brush but I've been using this to bronze lately. So I'm actually gonna just do my contour right in here. And I'm gonna use this to kind of just like add a little bit more detail and intensify that. And then I'm gonna kind of like take this area and just blend it out. The craziest faces when we contour. Just like trying to see those cheekbones, you know? And then it depends on like how double chinny I'm feeling. I might like intensify right there. Just this area, this area. I'm always going back in and blending. Um, if I know I'm going to like a night event, you know, and there's gonna be like dim lighting, I'll go in a little bit harder. If it's a day thing, you have to be realistic, you know, or more realistic anyway. All right, I'm going to dust this away. I like to kind of like really lightly buff it. This is an amazing brush, I love this thing. It's the MAC 240S, I really love it. I've seen people use it as like eyeshadow brushes, but I love it for setting under my eyes because it's so detailed. All right, well, I am going to film something else really quickly. <laughs> and then I'll be back to wrap this up. All right guys, so that is how I highlight and contour my face now. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Let me know if you try this and if it helps at all. Also, I'm very into like contour sticks lately. So if you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I've tried nude sticks, NYX, Rimmel, KKW Beauty, if you've seen my video, and also Fenty. So I've already tried all of those. So if there are any other ones that you would recommend, let me know. I feel like I'm sweating really hard right now. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one.